Hello friends and welcome back to Get Your Play Online. My name is Sarah and I am so glad that you're joining us today for another activity. Today we are making mini golf courses in your house and we're just using things that you can find around your house to make these mini golf courses. So it's super easy and this is a really fun activity. So I'm so glad that you're here joining us today. So I'm going to tell you that all the stuff that you will need for this activity first and then I'll explain it some more. So here's all the stuff that you'll need and I'll tell it to you again as we go on but I'm just going to tell you really quickly so that you can go ahead and start grabbing it as we go. So here's all the stuff that you'll need. You will need something long like a yardstick to make your putter. You will need a piece of cardboard or a toilet paper tube for the end of your putter. You will need painter's tape or masking tape. You'll need a ball like a ping pong ball or a bouncy ball or a golf ball. You'll need cups. You'll need items from your pantry. You will need paper and something to write with and you will need scissors. So that is just a really quick look at all the stuff you'll need for today's activity. But now I'm going to slow down and tell you about what we're going to be doing today. So like I said, today's activity is mini golf. So do you know what mini golf is? Mini golf is where you hit the ball and you try to get it in the hole in the least number of hits hits. So you don't want to take lots of hits to get it in the hole. You want to do it as quickly as you can. So if you're doing it with your brother and your brother hits it in the hole in three tries and it takes you six hits to get it in the hole, your brother would win because he got it in in three hits but it took you six hits. So that's how mini golf works. You want to get it in with as little hits as possible. So that's what mini golf is. If you've ever seen people play big golf, like out on a golf course where they hit the balls really far, mini golf is a mini version of that, right? It makes sense. So that is what mini golf is. So that's what we're doing today because this is sports week. Today is our last day of sports week, so we are doing mini golf for sports week. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is build our putter. And in mini golf, our putter is the stick that we use to hit our ball. So this is my putter that I made, but I'm gonna show you how to make one for yourself. Alright, so there are lots of different ways to make a putter and I'm going to show you some different ways to do it based on whatever you have at your house. So the first thing that you're going to need for your putter is something long like this. So you could use a yardstick like I'm doing. A yardstick works really well. So you can use a yardstick, you can use a big, long, straight stick from outside if you can find one of those. You can use a long tube of cardboard, you could do that. You could also use a broom. So those are some options for what you could use for your mini golf putter, okay? So go ahead and I'll give you a minute to go grab one of those things. And while you're grabbing that, you're also going to need an empty roll of toilet paper or a piece of cardboard that's pretty thick. You don't just want a little flimsy one, you want a thick piece of cardboard. So go, go grab those two things, a long stick 
and a piece of cardboard or toilet paper roll. All right, so I'll give you a minute to go grab those two things and then we will make our putter together. So while we have some time to go grab those things, I'll show you what I have all around me. You can see I have a bunch of stuff all around me and you might be thinking, what is all that stuff for? Well, that stuff is to build our mini golf course with because later I'm gonna have you go look around your house and find a bunch of different stuff that we can use for obstacles in our mini golf course. So that's gonna be super fun. I have pasta boxes here, I have cans of chunk light tuna, awesome, I have a cookbook, I have a book about birds, I have an empty tissue box because I was thinking maybe a ball could go through there. a bunch of stuff that I can use for my mini golf course so I'm really excited about this activity I think it's gonna be a lot of fun all right well I hope that you have gotten your stick by now and your empty toilet paper roll or your thick piece of cardboard so we're gonna go ahead and make our putter together I'm gonna to show you how to do that so let's get going on that all right you will also need your painter's tape or your masking tape right now. So here is how we do that. So take your toilet paper roll, if you're doing it that way, and flatten it. Smush it down. Ready? Smush it down. Okay. So smush it. And then take your tape. And we're going to make a tape a donut. So peel off a piece of tape and tape it in a donut. And stick it on your toilet paper roll in the middle. And then we're going to make another one, just to make sure it really sticks on, so do another one. So now you can see I have two tape donuts in the middle of my toilet paper roll. And if you are using a piece of cardboard instead of a toilet paper roll, it's going to be the same kind of thing. You just put two tape donuts right in the center of it instead of using your toilet paper roll. If you're using a piece of cardboard, use a thick part of it because you it's not going to work if you just have a really thin piece of cardboard. You want a thick one. And I would use a pair of scissors carefully with a grown-up's help if you're not allowed to use a scissors by yourself and cut it to be about this size so like a little rectangle all right and then once you've done that go ahead and put the tape part onto the bottom of your stick so you can see how i'm doing that See how I did that? And you push it in really hard. Look! 
it's not stuck together really well. Awesome. So now I have my putter. So you can see how this will work. Look. So this is how I'm going to hit my ball. This is my ball. So I'm going to stand here and this is how I'll hit my ball, just like this. This is my putter. Again, that's my thing that I used to hit my, my mini golf ball. All right, so that was our first step is making our mini golf putter. All right. I do want to say that you need to be careful with your mini golf putter to always keep it below your waist. Let me show you what that looks like. When you are going to be swinging it, you want to be swinging it down low to the ground. You don't want to be lifting it way up and taking a giant swing. That would not be safe because you could hit someone in the head. And also you could hit something in your house and break something. So always swing down low to the ground. Alrighty. So yeah, like I said, you can also use a broom. If you don't have the stuff to be able to make a mini golf putter, you could also use a broom. That's an easy way to do it. Just go get a broom from outside and that will work too. Alrighty. The next thing that you will need is a ball. So I am going to be using a ping pong ball for mine today, but you can also use an actual golf ball if you wanted. But if you use a golf ball, make sure you ask a grown up if it's okay to do that because golf balls are heavy and they can break stuff. So you could use a golf ball if you ask a grown up if it's okay. I'm using a ping pong ball, that works well. You can use a bouncy ball. You can use another kind of tiny ball but just make sure that it will fit in the cup that is going to be your hole. So, in a minute, go grab a ball that we're going to need. And while you're grabbing a ball, another thing that you're going to need to grab are a few cups, like this size of cups. I'm going to make three holes, so I'm gonna get three cups, but you can get as many as you want, okay? So I'm gonna give you another minute to go grab those things. You're going to need just one, well, if you're playing with a few people, you could use a few balls. So go grab a few balls, again, ping pong ball, golf ball, bounce ball, whatever you wanna use, and some cups, okay? So I'm gonna give you a minute to go grab those things, all right? I'm giving you one minute and then you're gonna have to come back, okay? Go grab those things, go ahead. So this has been Sports Week here at Get Your Play Online. So we have done lots of fun sports themed activities. So if you have been following along, I would love to know what have been your favorite sports activities that we have done. So leave that in the comments. I would love to know what has been your favorite. We've done lots of things. Our summer programming is almost coming to, to an end, but we still have a few more weeks for you. So I would love to know what has even been your favorite thing that we have done overall out of this entire summer. And if you would even want to send us pictures, we would love to see it. We would love to know what has been your favorite. Well, we're going to keep moving on this activity, and as you come back with your balls and your cups, we're going to keep on moving, alright? So, we have our balls, 
in their cups. Now it is time for the super fun part of making our holes, our mini golf holes, okay? So what, how this works in a mini golf course is like you, it, there's like a mini golf hole and then there's some obstacles in front of the hole. So like, here's how it goes. Let me tell you a little bit about it. There, so this is going to be, this is going to be our mini golf hole. So in a really, in a real mini golf course, there would just be like a circle hole in the ground where you would hit your ball into and then your ball would like stay in the hole. It, that's where you're trying to get your ball to go. To go. But we don't have that in our house. We can't just dig a hole in the ground, right? That would be crazy. So we have to use these cups. That is where we're going to try and get our balls to go. That's what we're pretending is our hole. So we're going to use these cups and tape them using our masking tape or our painter's tape. We're going to tape them down to our carpet. These are going to be our holes where we're trying to get our ball to go. So we're going to use these for our holes today. So we let's do that first, okay? Let's do that. So I'm going to make three different courses for you. And then, and then I'll show you how we put the obstacles in, okay? Let's tape down our three holes first, and then we'll put in our obstacles, which is the super fun part, okay? So, let's put down our three holes, and then we get to do the super duper fun part. All right. So, I'm going to get off a big thing of tape. So you can ask a grown up where it's okay for you to make your mini golf areas. I'm going to put my three different ones all in this area, but you may be able to spread yours out all over your house, maybe, because grown up says it's okay. Can you still see me over here? Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> so I'm taking my first cup and I'm going to tape it down to the ground. Let me show you how I do that. I'll come a little closer so you can see what that looks like. So I'll show you how, how it looks. So I take my, I'm putting my cup on my lap. If you have someone to help you, that might be helpful. They can hold the cup and you can do the tape. So you hold your piece of tape out like this and then you put it down on the cup like this and then you're going to push it down around the edges And then this part is just going to get taped to the ground, okay? Oop, it's coming up. Okay. So you're basically just putting tape on the top of the cup, and then it's going to be a lot of tape on the carpet, on the floor next to the cup, okay? So that makes sense? It's going to be tape on the top of the cup, and then lots of tape on the carpet next to the cup. So you're just going to need a long piece of tape to be able to make the cup stick to the floor. The reason that we are taping down our cup is because we don't want our cup to wiggle around. We want it to hold still so that it doesn't wiggle away when our ball comes next to it so that it can hold still so our ball can go in it. Okay, so I just taped down my first cup. You can see my tiny blue cup over there in the corner. And now I'm going to get a big piece of tape for my second cup. Here's my big piece of tape. All right. 
and I'm going to tape down my second cup. The second cup is my purple cup. I'm going to put it over here. So again, how I do this is I will put the tape first on top of my cup a little bit and then smush it down and put it put the tape on the ground. Make sure you get a big piece of tape. We don't want our cup to wiggle around. We want it to hold still so our ball can go in it. And one more big piece of tape. For our third mini golf hole over here, this is going to be my third one. So there you can see I have one, two, three cups taped down, and so that is where the balls are going to go into. Those are three different ones. They're not all for the same one. I'll show you that later, okay? So cups are taped down. Awesome! And now we get to do the most fun part, which is building stuff for each one, okay? So, I am going to, I'm going to give you like two minutes to go around your house and look for stuff that you can use for your mini golf course, okay? I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got so that you can look for similar stuff, but also get whatever stuff you want, okay? Here's some stuff that I got. Don't go yet. Look what I have and then go, okay? I got some stuff. A pantry is a good place to look. You look in your kitchen cupboards. Don't get stuff out of your fridge or your freezer because those stuff will need to stay cold. <laughs> but pantries are a great place to look. I got some pasta boxes because I thought that... I can make a little tunnel, you can see at the very bottom, I can make a little tunnel for my ball to go through. Um, get some books that can stand up by themselves, that's a good choice. I got some hands like this because I thought I could spread them out and make some obstacles for the ball to go through, make it tricky for the ball to get into the cup. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it tricky. If it was easy, it wouldn't be as fun, right? I also just got some cans like this. Again, we're just trying to make it tricky and fun. I also got an empty tissue box like this. I thought I could make it like a tunnel. I got another book back here. I got a big box, a big one like this, and I cut out this in it, and I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to do the other side with you then, um, but you can also get some big pieces of cardboard. So those are just a few ideas of some stuff that you could get. Again, I got like pasta boxes, I got cans, I got books, I got... An empty tissue box. I got um, 
yeah, cans, cardboard, all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to give you like two or three minutes to go grab stuff like that. Um, so go ahead and do that now. Go look around your house. Be creative. Whenever you do activities with me, I usually encourage you to be creative. Use your brain. Use your strong brain muscles. And look around your house and think, what could we do use for obstacles to make it tricky for our little balls to get into our holes, okay? So, take a few minutes, go search around your house, use your brains, and see what you can find, all right? Two or three minutes, and then we'll start building together, all right? Go ahead. you're watching the replay of this video and you already have stuff gathered obviously skip <laughs> skip through the next couple minutes that's okay um but yeah This activity is super fun. It's one of my favorite ones that we've done all summer. I really like it. It's a great idea. This was actually Sarah Rose's idea. Um, yeah, I'm subbing for her today, so shout out to Sarah Rose. We miss her. <laughs> this was her idea. It's a really good one, so. As you're slowly coming back, you can start sorting the stuff that you got into what you want to use for each hole. I would suggest, well, let me explain something actually. In golf, in mini golf, we call each like one a hole. So, this one would be called hole number one, and this one would be called hole number two, and this one would be called hole number three. So how it would work is, I would put some cans here for example. Pretend I would hit my ball, and I would hit my ball, and there we go. That was hole number one, okay? And then I would go over here, Hit my ball, and that was hole number two. So that is how mini golf works for holes. Okay? So anyway, as you're slowly coming back, go ahead and start sorting the things that you gathered into what you want to use for each hole, for each cup, or for each path. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use my pasta boxes for hole number three. I'll do my cans for hole number one. Okay, 
think I'll do this for hole number one, two. And I think I'll do my giant box for hole number two. Do my tiny holes for hole number three. All right, so that's why I did that. Okay. All right, friends. So I hope you are starting to come back from searching over your house for things that you can use to build your mini golf course. All right. So as you're coming back, and hopefully you're doing this now. Go ahead and sort the stuff that you found into what you want to use for each hole or for each path of your mini golf course. So that's what I did. So you can see that I chose for that one, I'm going to use my pasta boxes and my books and my cans of chunk light tuna. For my middle one, I'm going to use my giant box. use something else too. I don't think I'll use that box. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to move my chunk light tuna back over to my middle box. Okay, that's better. And then for my first one, I'm going to use my cans and my tissue box. And that's that. Okay. So, sort your stuff out for what you want to use for each hole. All right. It's also helpful to have a scissors ready in case you need to cut something. Make sure you ask a grown-up if you're allowed to use the scissors and make sure you keep it up on a table or something instead of on the floor so that no one steps on it. Make sure you ask a grown-up if you need help with it if you're not allowed to use it. All right, you can also get some stuffed animals or whatever else you want to use to make your holes or some like toys or anything else. Use your brain, get creative, that's what I always say. Alrighty, so let's start building our holes. This is the super fun part, okay? Alrighty. I'm going to build my first hole, hole number one. Can you see it well enough? I think you can see it somewhat well. I think you can see it well enough, okay? I'm going to move over here and show you how I do this. So I start by getting close to my cup. I'm going to start over here. And you know what? I am going to move you closer because I am pretty far away. Is that better? All right. Hi, friends. Okay. <laughs> so here's my cup. So I'm going to start over here. So I have my cans. So here's how it's going to work. Um, no, you can't. Oh, I can just. I'm sorry. You know what? Let me put you up on here so you can have a better angle. This is kind of weird. There we go. I think that's awesome. 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 Okay. Yay, that's great. Okay, so here's the cup, and here's how we do it. We start over by the cup, and we work that way from the cup. We work away from the cup. We start at the cup, and we work away. So I'm going to start by putting a can, not right in front of the cup, but kind of close to it. Because we want to make it tricky for the ball to get to the cup, but we want to make it also possible for the ball to get it. We want to make it hard but not too hard okay 
So I'm going to put a can here and then some other cans just kind of around here. Just they're in the way and making it tricky, but we don't want to make it too hard also. Make it however you want. And then, uh, so you can see how I did my cans in front of my cup. And then I'm going to put my tissue box in front of that. And I'm going to use my tape to tape it down to the ground because the edges like curl up and I want my ball to be able to go through it without it like getting stuck. So I'm going to tape that down. I'm just showing you some ideas of how I do mine. You can take your ideas and go crazy, run with them, do your own thing. I'm just showing you some ideas of how I do mine. So I am taping this down. In the front and the back. All right. So now you can see this is what my first pull looks like. It's a tissue box and then some cans leading up to it. So I'm going to actually show you what it looks like for me to do this mini golf hole just so you can see what it looks like. And then I will build my other two. All right. Ready. So I'm going to start over here. You can see my ball. Here's where I am. Okay, so I'm going to start here. And I'm going to hit it through. There it goes. Okay, so you can see, so that was one hit. You need to keep track of how many hits it is. Keep track. I'll show you how to make a scorecard later, but right now I'm just keeping track in my head. Okay, so that was one hit. You can see it hit the can, so it got a little bit messed up. So that was tricky. That was good, okay? So that was one hit, and then I'm coming over here, seeing if I can get it in the cup. Remember in mini golf, you want to get it in the cup in as little hits as possible. So it would be good if I can get it in in this one, but we'll see. If I miss it, it's okay, but it's going to make me have more hits. So I have one hit so far. Let's see if I can get it in in two. Ready? Yay! I got it in in two hits. That was, I would have two hits. And if we were using a scorecard, which I'll show you later, I would write down two for that one. Okay? So that's how we do mini golf. Did you know? What's it called if you get it in in just one hit? What's it called? It's called a hole in one. And that's awesome. That's like really cool in mini golf. Okay. So we made our first hole. Let's make our other two now. Alright, so our second one is going to be with our purple cup. And for this hole, I am using this giant box. And my goal is for the ball to go through this hole, straight through the box, and come out the other side. So I already cut a hole in this end, but I'm actually going to cut a hole in this end too. This is pretty tricky, so if you want to cut a hole in your box, you probably need to ask a grown-up for some help. So I am going to cut a hole in this side right now. Keep 
on working on building your mini golf course. Awesome. Okay, so you can see my box. I have a hole cut out of that side and a hole cut out of that side so my ball can just go right under it and straight through. So I'm going to put that again. We always start on building our courses. We always start close to the hole and then work that way away from it. So I'm going to put it here close to my hole, okay? And then I'm going to take my cans of chocolate tuna and put them in front of it to make it tricky to get in the box. Because if we can get holes in one, hole, get a hole in one every time, it's too easy, right? I want to make it tricky for the people who are playing. That is what I did for my number two. Now onto the blue cup one. So this is hole number one, hole number two, and now hole number three. So let me move you over again, the other way. I have my pasta and my books for my hole number three. So where do we start building again? Right, we start building near our cup. take a book and put it in front of my hole. It's going to be so tricky. We're going to figure out how we have to do it. Put it And then I'm going to take my pasta boxes and make a little tunnel for my ball to go through. So you can see I always make sure that there's a possible way for my ball to go through. I never want to put something right in front of the cup because then it would be impossible for my ball to get to my cup. I always want it to be possible. I just want to make it a little tricky and fun. That's how mini golf works, right? There's obstacles for your ball to get to your cup. All right, so I made my three holes. Yay, I'm so excited. Okay, we need to make one more thing and then we get to play our mini golf. Okay, 
So get a piece of paper and something to write with. We are going to make a scorecard really quickly and then we're gonna get to play. So get a piece of paper and let's make a scorecard. At the top, I wrote scorecard. And then we're going to make a chart. Did you learn how to make charts or tables? It's actually more of a table, I guess. Did you learn how to make tables in school yet? Well, that's what we're going to do, okay? So, over on this side, you're going to need to write kind of small, don't write too big, but make sure you stick over on this side. We're going to write the names of everyone who's going to be playing this round with you. So if you have brothers or sisters, let's play together with them, okay? And then you can make more scorecards if you want to do this again later with people. But I'm going to write my name, and then I'm by myself right now, but I'm going to pretend I have people with me. So, on this side, I'm going to write Sarah, because that's my name. Sarah. And then, who else could I write? Let's pretend. Who else? Hmm. All right, Bob. All right. Um, Abby. All right, Sam. Sarah, Bob, Abby, Sam. That's who's going to be playing our game of mini golf, pretending. Okay, so that's how we do that. And then, up here at the top, I have three holes in my mini golf course. So, I'll tell you what, do a line then. It might take you some time to finish writing the names, and that's okay. Let me show you this. Finish writing the names. I'm going to move on, but you can finish those up later if you need some more time. Okay, so here, right above the first name, actually, right under the right under the word scorecard, if you wrote that, to go ahead and do a line like this. And then, right above your first name. Do a line like this. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight, that's all right. So again, we are making a table. And then you're going to want to do a line down like that. So right down past the names then. It's okay for scorecard isn't perfect. We're just looking for a way to write down what, what everyone's score was on each hole. It's okay if it's a little bit messy or your lines aren't straight, it's all right. All right, and then up here in this area, I'm going to write one, two, and three for our whole numbers. So that's for like my orange cup and my purple cup and my blue cup. That's like one, two, and three for my three different ones that I made. 
So, one, two, three. See that? And then I'm going to draw straight lines down. And across. Because we want to keep track of the scores of Sarah, Bob, Abby, and Sam. It's important that we know who won. Here's an example of a scorecard. Okay. Just like, for example, on the orange hole here, let's say Sarah got a hole in one, just pretending, just pretending. Um, we would just write here in the number one, we would write one because it only took me one hit to get my ball in. Let's say the Bob got, it took him 10 hits, 10 hits, man to get his ball in the hole. So we would put in here for Bob, for hole number one, 10. We put 10 in here. And then Abby took her two hits. So you put a two in here. And Sam, it took him three hits. So you put a three. Okay, then for hole number two, for my purple cup hole, let's say it took me four hits. So I'd put a four in here. And we keep on going down just like that, okay? And then at the end, we can put your total number of hits somewhere. And then the person with the least, the lowest number of hits for the whole game, for all the holes added up, is the winner. Because you want to get it in with the lowest number of hits. That's the goal of mini golf. So that is an example of a scorecard that you can use to keep score. If you don't want to keep score, that's okay too. You can just do it for fun. Another way that you can do this is by speed. This is not the official way of mini golf, but it's also a fun way that I just like to do it sometimes, is to just do a little race and see who can get through first. So you just would like... Um, start against someone and just keep on hitting it and see who can get through first. So it's just based on speed rather than the number of hits. So that's another way to do it. All right, we have a few more minutes left and to finish out our time today, I wanted to go through the course that I just made and have you guys watch me and see how I do. So I'm ready. Are you ready to watch? <laughs> we'll see how I do. I made it kind of tricky with all my cans of chonk light tuna and everything. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. We'll see. All right, ready? So I have my homemade putter. I have my ping pong ball and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna pick up my computer and move me back up here. folks. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? I think we're ready. Okay. I'm going to start over here at my first hole. I'll use my scorecard too. So I'm going to start here. When we're mini golfing, I am not an expert at golf, but when we're mini golfing, you want to stand with your feet like shoulder amount apart. So don't stand with your feet like way out, but stand, stand with them like shoulder amount apart. And then hold your mini golf club like this. Your putter. You ready? I'm going to hit it and I'm going to try and get it through my toilet paper or my tissue box, my empty tissue box. Ready? Let's see. I'm, and I'm always counting in my head how many hits it takes me to get through my hole, okay? Are we ready? Set, go. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so that was one. Count through. Hmm, how am I going to get through these cans? They're in my way. Hmm. Okay, one, okay. 
Whoa. Okay, so that was two hits. Ooh, this is tricky because now it's on the side of the cup. How am I going to do it? All right, so I hit it back out in front of the cup. So that was three hits so far. And now hopefully I can get it in on this fourth hit. Yay. Okay. So that was four for hole number one. All right. So I'm going to mark that down on my scorecard. Four. Okay. So I got four for hole number one. All right. Now on to hole number two, which is my purple cup hole. We'll start it over here. If you want to make official starting lines with tape or something, you can do that. But I'm just pretending. Got to get it past my can from Trunk Light Tuna. Here we go. Ah, they hit the tuna and got all off track. Look, it's way over here. That was one hit. Ready? Here we go. Ah, two. If it gets stuck in the box, you might need to pull it out and try again and maybe add a number, like add a hit into your count. That was two. Ah, it's stuck in the box. Record that on my scorecard. All right. So that was so much fun. I loved making that activity, and I loved that you were able to join me and build along with me. So I would love to see pictures of your mini golf course that you built in your own home. I would love to see your creativity, and your ideas for how you did yours. So thanks for joining me today for Create with Sarah or Build Time with Sarah today. Um, I'm so glad that we got to hang out together during this time as we were finishing off Sports Week. We have a few more hours of Sports Week, and then we are going to move on to a new theme next week. So I'm so glad that you were here and I hope you have a really great rest of your day and a really great weekend. Again, my name is Sarah and thanks so much for tuning in everyone. Have a great day. Bye.